happy Friday to you. It is two weeks before Christmas 2015, and this is Groovis, Roger, and I hope everyone is doing great. And welcome to the weekend, and I'm glad you're here, and I hope you're enjoying your games and just enjoying your family and friends, and everything's good. Um, I'm going to try to make this super quick, and first off, I have to say I've gotten a lot of messages on YouTube and Facebook and over at Board Game Geek, and I want to thank you for the stuff you said about Dungeon Crusade is growing slowly, and um, hopefully you're seeing my intent is to give people and kids and fellow gamers something that they've never seen before. And I've done, I've worked on this for seven and a half years, and I've dreamed of this all my whole life. And um, I assure you, with what I'm about to show you a little bit here, um, it, it looks amazing. You know, this is the prototype game, but it just came out. We I was at the printer. Let me explain. I was at the print shop for five to six hours, we printed out the entire prototype game. And what I'm about to show you is this here. This is, I believe there's 95, 11 by 17 pages here. This is just the cards for Dungeon Crusade. And um, as I said, I pulled out all the stops to give people a unique experience and something I think that they're going to truly love and want to be a part of. And um, I think I succeeded, at least the prototype game. And honestly, this could pass for a final game copy, but, you know, we're not doing that, of course. But I'm astounded, you know, actually having it now in the real form, it came out amazing. And right here, this is the loot card prototype design. Um, you know, everything's going to be going to the artists and the illustrators, and they're going to do their um, rendition, but with their touch and, you know, make it original. So real quick, just going to just blow through this real fast for new people that are here. If you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, real fast, I'll touch on this. You know, for my Kickstarter, create a hero. All the heroes have generic names right now, ge generic archetypes, warrior, rogue, so on and so forth. Um, there's packages for each one. And what I meant with people being a part of this with me, you're going to be able, and this is no extra charge, okay? There's going to be the Crusader um, edition of Dungeon Crusade. There's no charge for this because I want people to be in here with me. You're going to give that hero a name, whatever you want, within reason. You're going to write a backstory of where this hero comes from in Avalon. When you see this, I'm going to touch on this, when you see this huge map, you're going to pick a place, you're going to write a story for me. And you're going to, your name is going to be on the back of the level one hero card for your contribution um, to Dungeon Crusade. Real quick, this is almost pretty much close to the final product. Of course, it's big. Um, but this is Sean Ellis, the lead artist for the game world. This is some of his design here. Furthermore, here's some more. And this was taken, so you know, off of my prototype world. He looked at it and said, okay, let me show you this. So um, this game world is, is, is going to be amazing. I, I assure you, you've never seen anything like this in a game. Um, real quick, we got some factions that I created, the Maidens of Witherbrook Forest, the Black Hand Army. And I... I didn't really touch on this before, but see these symbols? They're going to be on the monster cards. And there's five different races that you're going to encounter. Undead, mythical, human, beast, and demonic. And these are some of the legendary heroes that's going to be quest givers, um, NPCs. Charcy Sibri, along with Hano Lithgar. They're going to be in the game as well. Um, the heroes, as I said, rogue, archer, barbarian, wizard, warrior, cleric. Another faction that I created, the Evil the Faith. That is my annoying dogs. <laughs> Sorry. But the Faith is um, this group I created. And they're, I had to tone down some of it because it was kind of dark. And then finally, we get everything done. The 28th um, Dungeon Crusade will be launching for everyone to see. Something, too, I want to add. You're going to see gameplay way before this. I, would, I, I don't expect anybody to pledge a dollar to this. You make sure that this is for you, that you're comfortable with Dungeon Crusade, and um, watch some gameplay, and then decide. I don't expect anybody to just, you know, fund something without seeing it. I wouldn't. And so, make sure that it's something for you. But I'm going to tell you, don't let the wow factor blow you away at first, because this is going to be, it's going to be incredible, guys. I assure you, now that seeing this. So, um, real quick, cause I'm going to pause and I'm going to restart something. Loot card design. Um, I showed this in the other video, but now we can see the real McCoy. Real McCoy, sorry. This is the blessing. There's blessings, and there's a special way that happens, a mechanic. 
Um, so this is the backing for that. And the official Dungeon Crusade dice box. Um, I went out of my way and created a very fun, unique, and challenging combat system that you're going to see. Um, this is the box that we're going to be using for the presentation. There's going to be some stuff up here and maybe some adornments down here, but it's going to help with the combat system. And I want to say this, that if, again, if this all goes through, that these are going to be decals. Again, I'm never going to charge for this. I will upload these to Board Game Geek. Download them if you'd like to do your own Dungeon Crusade um, dice box. By all means, let me give you everything and take it and create your own dice box. So this isn't finished. There's going to be some stuff up here and some things around here, but it's secret for now. So, shh. Okay, I'm going to pause. I'm going to show you some little reveals, um, and I think you'll like. So hang tight. And I'm going to be back. Okay, guys, I am back. I set some stuff up. i got to keep a couple things hidden. But we're going to start it with the good stuff, some loot. Um, I created 232 pieces of loot. Um, some of it's going to surprise you, and I don't think you've seen some of this um, like in other games. But I'll tell you what, let's. I had to cover up some secret stuff for now, but we're going to have fun looking at um, some uncommon. We're going to show you some um, epic and a bunch of legendary, plus secret stuff that I'm not going to show. But we'll start out with some green here. I hope you like this. Um, Baneful Armor. Bow of Enchanted Souls. Cat's Eye Ring. Cloak of Lost Souls. Dagger of Mourning. Elegant Charm. Gauntlets of the Eagle. So that's just some of the uncommon. We're going to move up to the purple, which would be epic. So Ring of Shadows. Ring of Dark Blood. Sorry, Ring of Dark Blood. Pendant of the Dark Warrior. Pendant of the Angels, Night Stalker Paldrons, Necklace of the Destroyer, Malevolent Great Staff, and we're going to move up to some legendary, Ring of Illusions, Ring of the Mad King, Ring of Zultanite, Scepter of Lord Slaying, Sky Forged Bow of Eternity, Staff of Twilight, Staff of Dark Twilight, Staff of Destroyed Worlds, and that is Scooter. Here's all my... Oh, here, and you're going to meet him sometime, right? That's YOLO. That's Scooter. And that's um, Caesar. I forgot my own dog's name. So go ahead. There you go. You met the pooches. I love dogs, by the way. I love dogs. Sorry, back to the legendary. Hope you didn't mind that real-life moment there. And the last of the legendary for now, Bow of the Phoenix, Belt of Valency, Band of Mind Fury, Axe of a Thousand Deaths, Ashara's Pendant, Armor of the Maidens, Amulet of the Magi. So I hope you like a little sneak peek. Um, tons of loot. I am a loot fiend. And um, I created so much for you. And you're going to love how you customize your hero. I guarantee you that that's um, a really huge point in this game is customizing your hero with this awesome loot. Here's another thing I revealed the other night. Main quest card. Remember what I said that, you know, the, all this goes through. Dungeon Crusade goes live. The website. You're going to make your own quests. Upload them. You're going to have the template to do this. Design what you want. Um, and then, of course, there are some tokens there. Healing potions. You have to cut all this out, of course. And then, loot card. Now, this is what I was trying to say before to you about, sorry, something moved. Secret stuff. You know, there's different monsters in this game. Here is the card for the highest level monsters in the game. I'm not going to reveal what their names are yet, but um, these things are tough. I mean, you can't you can't kill these with a single hero. You got to use some strategy and tactics and planning to take these things down. So there is going to be the prototype card um, we're going to use. So, talked about the dice box, and lastly, um, I had to get this on my um, iPod. Jesse Hansen is, of course, the lead artist for Dungeon Crusade. Hold on one moment. And, sorry about that real-life moment again, and actually, that would probably be better. Um, that's, um, he has a studio, a bunch of artists, awesome artists I'm dying to meet. They have their own comic book out. And they are going to be giving Dungeon Crusade an incredible 
look like you've never seen before. Um, and something too that he is having a sale right now, if you want some art, he is selling some stuff for the holidays at a really good price. And I cannot say enough about Jesse and his team there. And um, we need a team. We need a studio to do this game. I, I cannot say it enough. This is massive. So do me a favor, if you get a chance, Cornerstone Creative Studios. Go look at their stuff, see what they got for sale. And um, just awesomely, some of probably the nicest people I've met um, in this you know, endeavor. And I'm glad to be partnered with them. Awesome people. Okay, um, I hope you liked the little reveal tonight. I hope that this, this enticed you more, and I got so much more um, to give you guys. And I just hope that you really like this. All right, I'm signing off, and I hope you have a great weekend. And I will be back soon with more Dungeon Crusade news. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.